Welcome my friend. Today is a super minimal cue. So I'm going to attempt to just do one to two words to describe the pose that we're moving into and then have you flow into it. My hope is that this practice will help you connect more deeply with your body, the rhythm of your breath, flowing the breath with the movement and have an amazing yoga experience on the mat today. So I don't use any props, but have them nearby just in case. They're always helpful to meet your body where it's at if a pose ever calls to it for you. And we will begin in a comfortable cross-leg seated position, sitting up nice and tall. We'll just begin our practice taking smooth, steady breaths, connecting your body with your breath, arriving here in this present moment. Let's slowly make our way to hands and knees and flow through a few cat cows. Downward facing dog. Take three spinal waves. We'll ground down to rise. Draw your elbows wide, slowly lower them down. Circle arms back up and take a side body stretch. Hold the side body stretch on the first side for a few breaths. Switch sides. up to center, cactus your arms down, breathe in, circle up, and swan, dive forward, breathe in, lift halfway, release, plank pose, lower yourself to the mat, cobra, Hi, Cobra. Soften forward, downward facing dog. Forward fold. 
hold. And ground down to rise. Swan dive forward. Link pose. Shift forward, lower to the mat. High cobra once more. Soften forward, downward facing dog. Forward fold. Ground down to rise. Swan dive forward. Breathe and lift halfway. Release. Plank pose. Shift forward to your tippy toes and lower to the mat. High cobra. Soften. Downward facing dog. Step forward, forward fold. And ground down to rise. Palms kiss the top and exhalation lower prayer to heart. Bring one palm to the heart and then the other. Taking a moment to connect with your breath, your body, and feel into the effects of our practice upon our body. Feeling that wonderful world of you. Let's begin our next flow. Breathe and circle your fingertips up. Swan dive forward. Breathe in, lift halfway. Release. Let's step your left foot back. Soften your back knee to the mat. Low lunge. Hands frame foot, step back, plank pose. Shift forward, chaturanga. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Step your left foot forward. Soften your back knee to the mat. Low lunge. Hands frame feet. Step forward. Forward fold. Breathing with tap way. Release. And ground down to rise. Exhalation, swan, dive forward. Breathe in, lift halfway. Release. Step your left foot back. Low lunge. Hands lower. Step back. Take your flow. Downward facing dog. Step your left foot forward. Low lunge. Hands lower. Forward fold. Breathe in, lift halfway. Release. Ground down to rise. Palms kiss. Exhalation, lower prayer to heart. One palm upon the heart and then the other. Let's take a full breath in and a releasing breath out. Moving into our next flow, breathe in, circle up. Swan, dive forward. Breathe in, lift halfway. Exhalation, release. Step your left foot back. Extend fingertips, it's got high lunge. Lower hands. Plank pose, take your flow. Downward facing dog. Step your left foot forward. High lunge. Lower hands, forward fold. Breathe in, lift halfway. Release, 
Ground down to rise. Exhalation, swan dive. Breathe in, lift halfway. Release. Step the left foot back. High lunge. Lower hands. Plank pose and take your flow. Downward facing dog. Step the left foot forward. Inhalation, circle fingertips. High lunge. Lower hands. Forward fold. Breathe in, lift halfway. Release. Ground down to rise. Palms kiss and lower prayer to heart. One palm upon the heart and then the other. Take a full breath in through the nose, smooth and steady. And a releasing breath out. Let's take our next flow. Breathe and circle up. Swan dive forward. Breathe in, lift halfway. Release. Step the left foot back. Ground the left palm, or left palm, left heel. Foot 45 degree angle, warrior one. Square the hips to the front of the mat. Back heel pops up, lower hand down. Step back, plank pose and take your flow. Downward facing dog. Step the left foot forward. Ground the right heel. Circle arms up, warrior one. Lower hands down. Step forward, breathe in, lift halfway. Release and ground down to rise. Swan dive forward. Breathe in, lift halfway. Release. Let's step the left foot back, ground the heel, warrior one. Circle down, plank pose and take your flow. Step the left foot forward. Ground the back heel, warrior one. Lower your hands, forward fold. Breathe in, lift halfway. Release, and then we'll ground down to rise. Breathing and circling your fingertips up. Palms kiss and lower to heart. One palm on the heart and then the other. Take a smooth, steady breath in. And a smooth, steady breath out. Take our last flow, breathe and circle up. Swan dive forward. Breathe and lift halfway. Release. Step your left foot back. Lower heel to the mat, circle arms up. Lower hands behind your low back, interlace your fingers. Humble warrior, bow forward. We're gonna hold this for a few breaths. Ground down through your front heel to rise. With control, release your interlaced fingers. Circle arms up. Hands lower to frame the front foot. Step back, plank pose, and take your flow. Downward facing dog. And step your left foot forward. Ground the back heel, warrior one. 
and move into your humble warrior. And down to rise. Release with control. Lower hands to frame the front foot. Step back and this time, step back and just hold downward facing dog. Soften knees to the mat and flow through cat cows. Wide knees, child's pose. And just feel into your body. And feel into the effects of the practice upon your internal body. And then how the external body is feeling. Let's rise, bring your feet off to one side to bring them out in front of you. Come to the center of the mat. Flip your palms up, soles of feet, and lower yourself back with control. We are going to take bicycles. So we'll draw your right knee in, opposite elbow to the knee, and then we'll take two pulses and then we'll switch. So continue this at your own pace. Continue this until you can't hold it anymore or until you hear my voice again. Take two more on each side. Then hug your knees in. Give yourself a squeeze. Lower your soles of feet to the mat. Feet as wide as the mat. Knees fall into kiss. And just take a few strokes of your belly, of your abdomen, thanking it for all its hard work feeling into your personal power center. Then rest with one palm to your heart, the other to your belly. Taking five to 10 breaths. Tell your feet in, roll over to the right side and make your way to a comfortable cross-leg seated position. Sitting up nice and tall, letting your hands relax wherever feels comfortable. 
is drawing your attention within, feeling into your body, your mind, and your spirit, feeling the effects of the practice. Okay. Noticing how you feel now to whenever we first begin together on the mat. Breathe in, circle your fingertips up, gathering love and light. Palms can bring all that love and light down to your heart center. Sending love and light to you and all beings. Namaste. If you enjoyed the super minimal cues flow, let me know below. And I know this is quite different than my typical practices. I do more of a hatha rather than vinyasa. So if you do enjoy the vinyasa style, please let me know below. And I will bring more practices to you, whether it's pure hatha or maybe a hatha yin fusion or a, I'm not hatha, I mean vin. A vin to yin fusion or vin to hatha fusion. All right, my friends, you have a beautiful rest of your day. Don't forget to throw the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe to our channel before you hop away. Have a beautiful rest of your day, my friends. I hope to see you on the mat again soon.